Say it ain't so, Salesforce. This longtime market darling, one of the great growth stocks of our era, finished the day down nearly 20% after missing its quarter, cutting its forecast, and just all around laying an egg. It's a breathtaking comeuppance for this cloud cling, the first serious shortfall since the Great Recession, and it laid the entire market to waste because Salesforce is a component of all three major averages. Hence why the Dow lost 330 points, S&P sank 0.60%, and then as that tumbled 1.08%. The House of Pain. Salesforce is a company that I've championed since it started. Uh, well, I guess really since it came public, uh, to the single digits back in 2008. Yeah, I became a believer because I was still at the street.com, which I'd found in 1996. And when we used Salesforce, the product, I couldn't believe how much of a lift we got in selling subscriptions. You use Salesforce to get new clients and keep existing clients happy. They predict your client's behavior in an artificially intelligent world. It measures value by who has the most data. They are the data keeper. I have never heard of an unsatisfied customer of Salesforce, and I sure wasn't. Never. More important, Salesforce is a distinguished member of what has been the most esteemed cohort in the entire market for almost a generation, and that is enterprise software. This is the kind of software that automates business processes, manages data, manages your company's interactions with customers, handles your enterprise resource planning, and takes care of your business intelligence. In other words, enterprise software automates and digitizes every aspect of your outfit. It's, a vi- it's vital if you run a business, which is why there are so many companies that provide enterprise software for many different areas. You want to sell product? You use Salesforce. You want to keep track of the numbers? There are a half dozen companies that can do it for you. You want to help analyze personnel, handle human capital management, deal with supply chain, keep track of the finances? Well, there are another dozen of companies that can help you. You need to be protected from cyber bandits. There are myriad cybersecurity software businesses. You want to onboard people, design a website, keep track of receivables. There's a hundred companies that make enterprise software for those spaces, not to mention the hundreds of private enterprise software companies that are po- just praying to come public. And that's the real issue. A material reason for Salesforce is shortfall. There are so many of these companies, so many publicly traded enterprise software names, we can barely keep track of them all, and they are all nipping at each other's heels, making it much harder to be in this sector than it used to be. Yet these firms keep being pumped out of the venture capital well because it has been the most lucrative part of the entire tech complex since the beginning of time, or at least since the beginning of Microsoft. Everyone in the industry knows that the easiest road to riches is to sell, not to the individual, but to the enterprise. And every young person coming out of any major school that does computer work, they know to go to enterprise software. As Mark Benioff, the CEO of Salesforce, could tell you, these companies cleaned up during COVID. Enterprise after enterprise signed up for the new software subscriptions. It was a heyday for the entire industry. House of pleasure. In part because many of these enterprise software tools can help remote workers collaborate. Maybe too much of a heyday. Companies just spend too much on their vendors, order too much, apparently much more than they can use or even open. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.